Hey guys, welcome back to Candy Beauty. Um, so today we're going to be doing a faves, favorites, and fails video. I can't even remember the last time I've done one of these, but I am going to diligently try to continue to do these. I know this was one of the videos you guys wanted to see me do and how many, like how long later we're finally here. So I, it's really hard for me to, I test out so much makeup that it's like really hard for me to remember what I've tried out. So I'm gonna try, it's gonna be a little bit over the all over the place until probably 2024, just because I have so much makeup that I've gotten throughout the year that I'm still testing out and it just is what it is. But I'm going to continue to do these. So if you guys like these types of videos, can you please let me know down below? I mean, I know you asked for them, but hopefully you are gonna like them. So anyways, um, if you're new here, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, make sure you join the fam, subscribe to the channel, tap that bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos. We do a lot of makeup and just, we have a lot of fun here at Kitty Beauty and we'd love to have you join the fam. So, first thing is first. I cannot, <laughs> we're off to a great start. So these guys, I have a, sorry. That was, my, that was my next fave. So this is a favorite of mine. Um, I have gotten a couple of these and as you can see, they're already like down to the wire. I need to get some more. I probably should have mentioned these in my Sephora VIB sale video, but honestly, there was just so much to go over. Um, so now I'm mentioning them now. I have a couple of different shades. These are really great. I actually prefer them over, for me, they're like a dupe but better than the Fenty Beauty ones because I have two or three of the Fenty Beauty ones as well. They look almost identical, but they're a little bit more luminous than the Fenty. I have this on right now. I have this shade on. Let me just swatch it. Do we do swatches on Favorite of Fails? I don't even remember how to do Favorite of Fails videos. So that's this shade. I Like I said, I have a couple of shades. I just love the formula. And they're so easy and comfortable and like low maintenance and I just love them. This is new. Um, I did get this very recently. This is the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. This is infused with apricot oil, very affordable. They do have them, I think, back in stock at Ulta now for a while they were sold out. This was the only shade they had when I got this. I think I actually got this at Target. I don't remember now where I got this from but somehow I got my hands on it and I it's funny because at first I was like mm, this is like thick but it is very nourishing now I don't think it dupes anything I don't think it dupes the Dior I have the Dior the Dior is like a thinner consistency um I don't know it has like that minty like tingly sensation it's just very nourishing and it like you feel like it's like a thick coat you feel it on your lips let me swatch it I don't know I like I said at first I was like no I don't know why people like these I don't like it um but then like just out of desperation because that's what I do when I don't like something I'll just use it to use it up. Whereas like if I really like somebody, I, somebody, if I really like something, I'll like try to save it. And like, I don't even know why I do that. But so I just like kept using it because I thought I didn't like it. And then now I like really love it. And I usually will put it on when I wake up, like I'll come downstairs, I might start editing or something. And I'll just smack this baby on. And it is like a thick smacker kind of a consistency but I do like the mentholiness there's like a little bit of mint to it and I like that and it is something about it is and maybe it's the apricot oil something about it is very I wouldn't say hydrating but it's it's moisturizing it like keeps the moisture in if that makes sense like it's not slippy it's not glassy it's just like a really thick I don't even know what to compare it to. I, I don't think, again, I don't think this is, a, a lot of people are like, oh, it's a dupe for this, it's a dupe for that. I would love to know what Elf intended to dupe it for because it does remind me of something, 
but it's just like a little bit of that something, not a whole bit of that something, if, if that makes sense. Okay, also, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do this in order. I don't, I don't even remember how we were supposed to do favorites and fails videos. I don't remember. So I think I'm just gonna do it like how I wanna do it. Another favorite that I've been using this longer. This is not as recent, but um, this is, I believe, no, this is one of the original shades. This is so good. Like it's so glassy, very, very hydrating. Um, similar to e.l.f. Elf, but different. It's just like really smooth and, and glossy and glassy and shiny. I can swatch this stuff, but it's not gonna really like do it justice. It's just so like smooth and, and buttery on the lips. And like I said, like just glassy and not sticky and just a beautiful formula. They have tons of different shades. They recently came out with um, a newer collection. I think it's like the Sunset or Sun, I, I forget. I think it was in the fall. I mean, it just came out, but I think it was supposed to be like a more summery collection. I'm sure originally it came out earlier, but then I only saw an Ulta more recently. And I got one or two of those shades as well. This one smells like fruity. Those smell a little bit more coconutty, like beachy. Um, but just, I mean, I know everybody has already, this is nothing new. I get it. People rave about these, but it's one of my, also like when I wake up in the morning, I just gloss it all over my lips to sort of like, do you ever, well, it could just be me with my health situation, but like I wake up and my lips are like cracked in the corners. Like it's like, I feel like I've got like dry mouth. It's like horrible, <laughs> like tails of the crypt over here. So like I have to put something on like immediately. My lips are like, and my mouth are so dry. Um, so yeah. And these, I feel like, here's the thing, like I feel like they're you can wear them in the summer or winter, both of them. I don't feel like they're too heavy to wear in the summer. Um, so yeah, I've been really loving this and the CoverGirl and the Elf. Okay, so a recent fa fail. Well, I don't know. It's not a favorite. I, you know, I just keep going back and forth with this dang palette. I like it. But I recently found something very similar. So now I'm like, you know what? Maybe these blues aren't that special after all. So I like it, but I just don't feel like it's it's in the fail category. Can we have like an in-between category? Can we do that? It's in the fail category because I just don't think it's even worth like buying. It just, you know, the look... I've got it upside down, don't I? Yeah. The look you can create is beautiful, but you know, there were some issues with the quality for sure. Some of the shades are great and some of the shades do not work well at all. So even though it's, you know, more affordable, it's a mini palette of hers. I just think like, why, why even bother? You know? Okay, another fave. I feel like <laughs> there's probably like more faves. I don't like to talk about stuff I don't like. Um, I, I, you know what? I don't think, I don't even think that's it. I just think that like I've been really just over inundated with like really good products this year. There's just been a lot of good launches and a lot of good quality products, which made the VIB sale very difficult. <laughs> um, but so this is the Give by Gwen Stefani, Spark the Fire Plumping Lip Balm. And this is in the shade LUV Love. The This is like so nice. I actually have it on my lips right now. It's really, really pretty. It has like a little bit of color to it. I have it over a liner. Um, so it's, it looks a little bit more darker, but mine actually broke and I need to get a new one, but I'm like trying to, it's just really, really pretty. It's like a, a, a splash of color, not too much. Basically, it's like if you want your lips to be plump, it does the job. It smells like vanilla, but it has like the cinnamon plumping effect. And then also it just gives your lips like a beautiful flush. 
So it's it looks like you're not wearing anything, but it gives them just a little something extra. They have more shades, which I kind of do want to try out the other shades as well. Um, but I got this on a whim and I'm like so glad I did because I really, really do like it. I think it's a good, you know, there's not many, I don't think there are, are there any maybe buxom, but there's not many like plumping bullets, like bullet plumping. And I actually think it's genius that they put it in a bullet like this because it makes it really easy for me. I think even buxom is not like a bullet lipstick like this. So I love that they came up with this idea and I'm like, yeah, like let's do more plumping because it's, it's not just like when I say plumping, it's got like the, the major plump aspect to it. It's not just like, um, you know, something that like makes your lips like hydrated and has hyaluronic acid and it plumps them up. No, like this has the sting and the power to pump your lips and it comes in like a lipstick form, which I think is genius. So I am thoroughly satisfied with this purchase. I just am bummed that mine, you all lipsticks do this. I like go kind of, I don't know. I just like to over and over coat. And so then it like kind of tilts the bullet that way and, and that's what happened that happens with a lot of like my mac lipsticks a lot of my favorite lipsticks that happens with unfortunately so i know it's not this it's me i'm the problem it's me um but anyway yeah beautiful i hate to do this because i love i even looking back at the video i loved the look i created with this palette it is a beautiful high quality palette but it's like come on nars give us something a little bit different it's just all the same shades it's it's just all all the same i mean it is beautiful but it's like literally like every nars palette that they've come out with for like six plus years now has the beautiful nars quality it works amazing it looks it looks beautiful on the eyes it does but you're only gonna get like the same like looks out of this it just it's, if you have any other NARS palette, I guarantee there's at least two or three of the same shades that's in this one. It's those same gosh darn shades that they put in every holiday palette. I mean, you would think from a marketing perspective, they would be smarter than that. Because people that, people that are collectors and want like the palettes every year they're not gonna just keep getting it because it's the same thing as last year's you know so although it's a beautiful palette it's a fail for me because it's like I really I have the same palette like a trillion times in my collection because they literally come out with like the same palettes over and over and over again okay so another favorite is you guys have been asking me um lately like what I have been if you notice, like I have like more of a glow to my face and at first I wasn't quite sure, but more and more I am convinced that it is this in combination with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. I believe I showed both of these in the Sephora with my like life-changing products at Sephora, what I recommended for the sale. But I don't know what it is about this. Like, it just is beautiful. It, like, tightens up your face, too. It has really good ingredients. Where are the ingredients? Because I was, like, stumbling on this. Anyway, I, I feel like on the hand, it doesn't really do it justice. But I've been wearing the Magic Water Cream underneath. And then I've been putting this, like either mixing it in with my foundation or using it as a primer or sometimes just using it by itself. I think I already showed you guys the ingredients, but in one of my videos, it's got just a lot of good things in it. It has geranium fruit extract, turmeric root, strawberry fruit extract, ginger, chicory root, jojoba seed oil, linseed oil. Here, I'm just gonna hold it up for you guys again. 
for you to look at the ingredients. But I'm almost out of this. I had it for a while and I was like using it, but I guess I just didn't realize, like, you know how you use something once or twice and you're like, okay, yeah, I like that. But then like, it's like, okay, no, like now I know, like I have to have this. It's not a, oh yeah, I really like it. I'll use it every once in a while like I was doing before. No, this is like, I, I have to have it. I love it. Give me all of it. And I need to get another one because I'm almost out. That's like how much I love this stuff. And then also, oh, in my haul video, I think is where I showed this, one of my hauls, <clears throat> which I'm doing hauls for you guys and nobody's watching them. So make sure you freaking check those haul videos out. Um, I'm gonna continue doing those as well. But so the magic water cream, I think either in a try on or a haul, I was like, oh, I don't think I like this. But then in my Sephora, I kind of had posted things out of order. So then my Sephora VIB, I recommended it because I really did like it. But at first I thought, I think what I was thinking is I liked the Magic Cream better because it was denser, which I do really like the Magic Cream, but I actually am really enjoying the water cream because it's lightweight. As it gets drier and even more wintry, then I might switch back to the regular Magic Cream. They're both favorites, so I'll just include both of those in my slew of, slew of favorites. Um, but I do really like the new water cream. I do. I didn't think I did at first, but I do. Okay, another favorite is this Kosas Brow Pop Nano. I think I, now I don't remember if I mentioned this. Anyway, I'm completely out of it. That's how much I love this. It gives like the most, I can't even get it up to show you guys at all. It has a little brush at the end. It has just like the tiniest, skinniest little tip. I used to like the Huda Beauty one, um, but this is even tinier than that. So if you're somebody that likes really detailed, fine strokes for the eyebrows, it is a pencil though, it's not a pin. Um, but if you are somebody that likes like the really feather like strokes for the eyebrows, you will love this. You will love it. I'm, I need to get a new one. I can't believe I went through a whole one already. Like I just got this. It's just crazy how much I've been using it. <sighs> I am very sad about this. I'm very sad about this, but it's, it's just so beautiful. When you hold it up, it's just so beautiful. I've been, I keep trying to make this work. I just love this shimmer shade Snowbow. I don't know what it is, but like, when you swatch these, they look different. Like it looks different, but something, it like when I put this on my lids, it just all, just all looks, I mean, ugh, I don't know. I wanna love this so much and I just, I just can't. <sighs> For some reason, it just all looks the same. When you when you put this, when you create a look with this palette, it just comes out like the same look no matter what you do. I don't know. I think you can, I think like this, I think this is, the problem for, for me is like I, if I'm gonna spend $65 on a palette, I need it to be a standalone palette. Like especially something like this. I don't wanna grab this honker because I mean, it's a, it's a good size palette. I don't wanna grab this and then have to go and grab three other, you know, palettes to be able to complete a look. Like I wanna be able to just do it all in this palette. I think it's just sad. It's sad that this is a fail because it has such great potential. And for some people, like the people, here's who this would work well for, is like the people who peg them out, because you know, Natasha Denona has these on the back. The people who pop them out and like make their own palettes and combine, the, you know, that's that would work for somebody like that. Like if you don't want this palette, but you want some of the shades, but it's like, well, I kind of feel like I can get some of these shades in other palettes. So then it's like, well, again, why even purchase this palette? Because 
it's not a one and done. It's not a standalone palette for me. Yeah, I could pop all the shades and create like my own little Natasha Denona palette, but quite frankly, bless those that do because that takes like a lot of time and patience and I just don't have it. That's why I've never really been into, I tried to go the singles route. I still try. I still get advantageous and adventurous and I'm like, I'm gonna get the new Terra Moons collection and then it, I never use them because although they're beautiful to look at, you have to, Ella. Oh my goodness, this little dog, hold on a second. She just knocked, oh my, say hello. Hello, my little friend. Don't be knocking my camera over. Okay. So anyways, what I was saying is, I just, I try to do singles, but it just ends up being kind of like a waste for me because it's just way easier for me to go grab a palette and just have it all, all together combined into one. And like I said, people that, I mean, I know a couple of my friends are all into the singles and they do like such an awesome job and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could be like you <laughs> and do that, but I just don't have the time or the energy or, I mean, it, it takes a lot. You have to organize them. You have to put them in the Z palettes. You have to get that magnetic thing so you don't like, that's another thing. My nails always like dig into the single shades and I'm like, ugh. Anyway, so I feel like this palette would be a good addition to people who mix their palettes up, their ND palettes up and pop them out. This might be good for that because now that I think about it, there's not a lot of palettes that have blacks in them. I know Dream does, her Dream palette does. Biba, does Biba have a black in it? I think the Dream, Biba and Glam are like Ella. <sighs> Ellis, knock it off. Those are the only palettes, the Biba, the, the Glam, and the Dream, which Dream just has that one black. Glam, I don't think has a black. I think it has some darker grays. And Biba, I don't remember. I don't remember with Biba. But there's not a lot of palettes that have like these deep charcoal grays and black. So for somebody who likes to mix up the shades, this would be a good addition to their collection. For me, it just is not a good addition. It does not work. Okay, back to some favorites. I am in love with these new Moon Dust shadows from Urban Decay. So I did, I recently did a video on the palettes, which are somewhere. I have to, I, I don't know what, what I did with them because I just filmed a review. Um, but I did a review on the palettes and then I also got the new palettes, but then also these new singles. And this is Rebel Star. It is so pretty. I kind of want to put it on right now. Look at that. And then this one is Cosmic Craze. I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't get enough of the Moon Dust shades. I love them. I love the old ones. I love these new ones. This is Cosmic Craze right here. It's in the middle. Actually, that's not showing up as well <coughs> this one is wild dipper it's wild dipper So Rebel Star, Cosmic Craze, and Wild Dipper. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I love them. Love them. I mean, you can see for yourself. They're just gorgeous. Okay, and then a fail for me is the... I go back and forth on this. These are the Tarte Maracuja uh, shifts. And the reason that they are fail is I got all the shades and I'm like, well, I really didn't need to get all the shades because they all end up kind of like shifting to be like the same, the same color. 
I mean, they're all, it's like not the stain when it, when it changes your lips to a different color. They're all kind of the same. It's like all that kind of like pink sort of a shift. Um, like I said, I, I have all the shades right here. I just, I don't know. I was kind of disappointed because I kind of wanted them like to be different. And that could just be me because I got all of them. Um, there was one that was a little different. Was it the purple one? I can't remember now. There was one that was like a little bit different, but they were pretty much all basically like the same sort of pinky shifty shade. And so then I'm like, well, I know there were supposed to be different flavors, but even like the flavors didn't really seem that different. So then I'm just kind of like, well, what was the point of coming out with like all these different ones? You know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, kind of a fail for me. Okay, so I am going to stop myself here. I know that there was some other things I wanted to show you guys. Oh, actually, two more things. And then I will stop myself here because I don't want this video to be too long and drawn out. Um, but these are so cute. So Juvia's Place recently, which does anybody know if they're coming out with a holiday collection? Recently came out with um, a newer collection, I think. I don't know if these were with the Culture 2 or... I can't remember, but I just, I saw them in Ulta and I was like, those are so pretty. And typically these types of products don't really work well on me. They crack, they fade, they pill up, they just don't work. But these actually work really, really nice. They take a little bit to dry down, but they're, they're really pretty. I actually have, um, this one on the inner corner right here and then i have this one underneath let me just reapply this one so because i thought it was going to be a little bit more noticeable when i put this one on this is this one and this is unique that one right there um and i don't think i mentioned these in my recent haul so anyway this is unique right here let me just swatch that that's unique this is star girl they're so pretty they're really really pretty i wouldn't say i know they're like supposed to be multi-chromish but i would say they're multi-chrome would be pushing it but they're definitely more multi-dimensional than duochrome so that was star girl let me see if i can like hold on need to like cover it okay and last but not least we have a new fragrance and it is amazing and it's affordable but it smells like it's luxury this is I don't even know. Okay, I don't. This has this brand has gone like viral on TikTok or somewhere because I'm pretty sure it's TikTok um, because of this one right here. So I got both of these, and the vanilla potion is good. What is the vanilla? the vanilla potion? Kind of reminds me of Kaoli vanilla, but I think I like the Kaoli one better. This is a little bit more muskier. But it's, it does smell good, but this one, my friends, this one is my favorite. Like, this I'll wear. It, it's fine. I might even, I don't know. Yeah, this one is good, but this one is so good. If you're somebody that likes gourmands or sweet, then you're going to like them both. 
but this smells very similar to the Sol de Janeiro, the pistachio caramel. Not the normal one. It's like a, it's a different one. I will link it, but this smells exactly like this. Mm, it smells so good. It kind of smells like replica by the fireplace. but more marshmallowier and without the spice. It's definitely more like the Sol de Janeiro, but it's got a little bit of the by the fireside too. Oh, it's so good. I love this. I cannot get enough of this. It is so, so good. So if you see this, this was, I actually got this one at TJ Maxx. The other one I got at Marshall's. They were both $16.99. If you see this though, and you are somebody that likes like caramel and praline and just without like this, the spice or the musk, then this is all you girl, all you. Like it is so good. Mm. It just makes me like want dessert. It's so good. So, so good. All right, you guys. That is it for my favorites, my first favorite fails video. Should I number these or should I date them? What do you think? In a perfect world, I would like to do these once a week, but I'm I'm not even getting my hauls done once a week. So that's probably wishful thinking on my part. Um, but I am gonna try to keep doing them because I have like a lot of favorites. Not a lot of fails, but a lot of favorites. So which I mean, that's always good if you're investing in, in makeup and beauty products, you know, it's always a good thing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's also like a chance for me to sprinkle in some stuff that you might not see in some of my other videos. So trying to keep you on your toes over there. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap that bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.